<laughs> it's that time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast Spectacular Top 10 Edition. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me digitally. Alex. It's that time of the year, man. Alex, it's that time of the year. It's almost like Christmas. I get excited. It's like a little present I get to open. You talk mm-hmm. about your top 10 games in the past year. You talk it over with your best bud. You hypothetically like, oh, I know, I did this. but And then you do these hypotheticals like, does this count or this count? Well, okay. It's always so much fun. Alex, mm. I have one question. What is your question? Usually we open with one singular question. What have you been playing? Hmm. Persona 5. Persona 5 Royal, to be exact. Royal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Royal I've better. been seething at the mouth for you to talk to me about this game every single day that passes. I love oh. this game. I can't wait to, again, play it. I'm thinking about adding it to my yearly gameplays. I have, like, these kind of games I like to sit down every year at least, maybe every other year, and play through again. Things mm-hmm. like Bioshock, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2... Uh, you know, of course, um, it's maybe a Suikoden game here or there, things like that, and, and Mass Effects, of course. Mm-hmm. Dragon. I thought about. I told. I talked to my wife this morning, and I actually told her I was like, I'm thinking of redoing a Kingdom Hearts playthrough. Mm-hmm. I was actually feeling it the other day. I was like, Do I start it? And I was like, Nay. Yeah. Nay. I have a game that's on this list. I won't bring it up now, but uh, mm-hmm. I, I'll talk about it more in depth. But I have this game that I want to sink my teeth in before mm-hmm. I get into all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I was thinking of adding Persona 5 Royal to that playthrough. Now, Alex, mm. is Royal on this list we're about to talk about? Maybe in the honorable mentions category? Or oh, um, if it's not, then you can just cover it here. So, hmm. sneak peek, it is on my list. Okay, so we I don't want to get into it now. We'll save it for the show. But I'll tell you what I won't save. That is our ads. Thank you. First off, for clicking on the video on our beautiful thumbnail that I know Alex is in either in progress right now or will make after this. Thank in you for progress. clicking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clicking. Thank you for taking about an hour every day just to sit down and listen to a couple buddies talk about their favorite games from last year. I want you to do me one favor. Click like, subscribe, share, any one of those things that you want to do. If you want to go the extra mile, you can, of course, head over to patreon.com slash easyachievers. You can give us a little dollar now i know financial times are hard so we understand if you can't if you cannot please just give us a like or a follow on any social media platform you use or just subscribe on youtube thank you for giving me that second to tell you of my weekly ads i basically spew at you guys every time you click on our faces now i want to get into this alex i'm going to actually jump in first because my first few are very quick i feel like okay um, so we have a top 10. If you're new to this, every year we give a top 10 game of the year. I personally don't have any rules. Alex may have some rules that he's placed on himself, but I personally, it is my top 10 games of the year. I don't have a specific stipulation that these games must meet. I don't believe that I have to either beat them or really do anything with them. They don't have to come out that year. So I don't have any rules that way, but I do kind of set a criteria of, uh, number one is the better you know it is weighted uh in my opinion but i want to get into honorable mentions basically this is is things i kind of want to bring up as hey i liked this game but it can't make the list but i need to talk about it just a little bit yeah that first game alex is actually twin breaker now Mm -hmm. you may not know this listener but this is a twin um brick breaker game now that is the most what like that is not a game for me that is not a game i would ever play the only reason i did play this was this was made by one colin moriarty which i actually listened to his podcast regularly and he made this game with lily mo games and i was like sure i'll try it out to you know help support um i guess a fellow podcastian or whatever you want to call it and i bought it loved it didn't think i would like a brick breaker game i only played Pong, I think. I mean, Pong isn't really a big breaker. What's the one game I'm blanking on it that everyone's played? It's Vector Graphics. I don't remember what it is. I'll, I'll move on. But I've, we've mm. all played the one 
Brick Breaker game, but like you probably never have again. But Twin Breaker kind of remedies that. Some, it gives it a unique spin. It's very literal. You have two um, Brick Breakers at once sometimes. There's special power-ups and things like that. There's this hilariously convoluted story that I love. It's tremendous. Had a great time with reading through the story and the lore of the game. And it was just a good time. I had a, I had a fun time. It was a, it was a quick play a few days and, and bounce out beat the game and and leave i didn't do you know the thousand or platinum or anything like that but i enjoyed my yeah. time I, yeah i've never tried i never got a chance to try it but uh from what you've told me i was i've been interested because you did say that was game that game was actually on the vita was it not yeah it was on it, it was vita ps4 and it just recently made the jump to mm-hmm. xbox one switch mm-hmm. hashtag P- vita lives uh, vita if not by that one man vita will live <laughs> Mm -hmm. all right now that's all i have for twin breaker i do recommend to pick up i think it's only ten dollars um on the thing so i mean it's that's that's a steal i do recommend picking it up it's definitely worth ten dollars now alex how many honorable mentions do you have four four all right so that means we're equal so i want to give you the floor for your honorable mention all right so my number four is Watch Dogs Legion. Mm, I actually did not put this anywhere on any of my list or honorable mm. mentions. What? Why don't you tell me why you put it on yours where so, I did on mine? I, I really uh, the Watch Dogs world has a special place in my heart. Mm-hmm. But going into this one, really gave me a, a like disappointment. Yeah, but I do appreciate what they tried to do. Oh yeah. It's just that it didn't fully like get my full attention, mm. and I mean, I I enjoy the new place, like you know, it's London, it's awesome, but like what they try to do with the NPCs and the way they did everything, it's just mm, it's it's not good enough, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I do respect what you did say there. You say you you like what they went for, mm-hmm. and I do too. I like the idea. You can be anyone, literally. I- Mm-hmm. Anyone you see in the game, you can go recruit them, and you, they are on your side now. That comes with the caveat, though, that there isn't technically like a main source of character growth or information. You're not constantly with someone, so it's hard to get attached. Um, mm-hmm. The I, I feel like the abilities were kind of... Some of them were fun, some of them were lame. You kind of find one person that you really like, and you kind of just stick with them. I... I, I, there's a great game in there somewhere, I think. It's just yeah, sure. something happened along the way that kind of messed it up and made it this kind of rubber band ball where mm-hmm. you don't really know where it is, but eventually if you take enough rubber bands out, you'll find that center. And I, I don't know where it is, but I do think there is something that is really fun about the game, but it just could not keep me. It just could not keep no, me. No, for same. And it just, that, that's how I felt too. It's just, I, I, I thought about going back and I'm just like, I can't. Same here. I I wanted to go back with my Series X and enjoy the mm-hmm. game. I heard it had some actual compelling updates, but mm-hmm. I just could not find a reason to hit A on it and and continue no, my Watchdog story. I love. This is a person that lo- I love two. Two was I believe oh, like I'm... easily one of my top tens when it came out. Yeah, I and... fully played through two like twice in a row. Yeah, and I love that game. I loved the pro- uh, protagonist and Marcus. He was such mm-hmm. a unique character where I feel like we don't get that in most games. And I do feel like unfortunately we did take a step back with Legion. Yeah, for sure. Um I'll I'll take the reins back here with with a, a little game called Fall Guys. Mm. I'm sure you've heard of Fall Guys, but if you haven't, this is a kind of battle royale type I almost like um game show type game where you're playing as these bean people i guess you can call them (laughs) as you run through this kind of maze battle royale and you're playing like different little mini games and you're trying to be the last one standing to get a crown to win the game you remember that uh, those little toy bean like mexican bean things they like they had like little faces and decorations on them and stuff oh yeah 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 i know exactly it could be a luchador I remember the Luchador yeah. one. I for sure know what you're talking about. It is just like that, but with arms mm-hmm. and legs. Yep, exactly. And in I I loved what they did. It it didn't do enough for me to keep me, but I mm. know if I had people to play with, I probably would have played it more regularly. Or honestly, this seems like a really fun Twitch game. 
like it well, seems yeah, like a really sure. fun like to stream you have people watching you're you're laughing after the nonsense that goes on in the game that seems like a really fun thing that you get a bunch of friends to play with you and things like that but, mm-hmm. but i don't have that we don't stream yet so I, I didn't really feel the pull to play this but it is funny to watch when one of my favorite creators pops on to play a few matches it is fun to watch yeah no yeah it, it's we i remember we got we got on it to play a good bit yeah. and uh, it is well, a good time we it, yeah like i did want to go back and get the godzilla man but like those wins man they're just so hard yes you do have to win to get the cosmetics even though they did fix that technically in the new battle pass they give you a lot more i Mm -hmm. have not turned the game on in literal months so i can't pretend like i know what the game state is now but as far as i understand it's still very good yeah alex what's your next honorable mention Hmm. my next one was call of duty cold war wow okay now I, this is another game where i respect you for putting it on didn't make the list though for me um mm-hmm. can you give me a few reasons why um i because i i love call of duty i've mm-hmm. always enjoyed them I'm, i mean i go back to the games every once in a while yeah but this one i i i played it on ps5 for once <laughs> do not put do the 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 Act the, the the what is it called the, the the adaptive triggers yes those do not put those for online that was oof, that was rough online at least in my opinion i it that it made it just it did not feel well yeah it's definitely not meant for online if you if you want to try it in story mode i do think it is the story yeah for the story it it, it was fun and it is gimmicky I did enjoy the story but it was cool yeah i enjoy i enjoyed the story um i enjoyed the shooting the guns um i like the comebacks on some of the characters it was it was enjoyable but um not my favorite call of duty for sure i enjoyed the story i had fun playing the kind of weird side missions and trying to break the riddles and things like that Mm -hmm. i don't feel changed or this is not going to be memorable for you i'm not going to in two three years think my what a what a good call of duty cold war like campaign that was Mm -hmm. and generally the campaigns are what make me remember the games um yeah for sure and this one is definitely not one of the call of duties that will make me remember them uh i do wish i gave online more of a try but i played in the beta so i i do i can't speak on it frequently and i i did not enjoy it in the beta that much i did enjoy it fine but i didn't enjoy that much Mm -hmm. uh and it's just didn't give didn't compel me you know what i mean it didn't compel me to keep with the game so it fell by the wayside yeah alex my my next one apex legends now i do this kind of every year and if i remember correctly i might have to listen to last year's but i'm pretty sure i put apex legends in my honorable mentions last year as well you you probably did i'm pretty sure i did and it's just that it is it is the most like honorable mentionable game to me where Mm -hmm. it's there when i want to play it if i want to play that season i jump on play a little bit get off and i do that on and off throughout the year and it is still there for me as apex Legends should be it's fun battle royale the shooting feels fantastic it feels great to move everything about the game near perfect there's not too much more i can say other than it feels great plays great and i love their uh commitment to like their very unique style of gameplay that not i don't i mean that's not really being done anywhere else you can say hyperscape is kind of trying to do that but i don't think it Mm -hmm. nails it nearly as well as apex does and i don't think any any game in my opinion has anywhere close the close to the movement and the gunplay as well as apex does no yeah it's definitely fun like i still go back um it's i still i still play it every now and then i'm like if i see a new event i'm like oh let me get on there same and then i'll play it yep same same here i I, i'll jump on look at it play a little bit and i come up (laughs) and that's why it's an honorable mention for me it's not good enough to hit a top 10 but it's just good enough to be like i want to give you props to keep to to, for it still being there alex Hmm. mention something honorable for me so you're gonna be i guess maybe surprised okay I, i hope so ghost of tsushima okay okay i respect the the honorable mention i it almost made my list um, so yeah i know i thought about putting on my list i i but i, I just couldn't 
and then I thought about it. It's like, you know what? I'll give it honorable mention because I do love the world. And I mean, who doesn't like being a samurai? You know, like that music and like just that atmosphere of mm-hmm. being in, like, you know, in, like in Japan and all that stuff. It's so nice, but it just, the game just felt repetitive to me. It's kind of like the same thing as Mafia 3 did. I was like, mm-hmm. I love the story in that game. I know, yeah, God, yeah. It was repetitive. Right, right. I want to I wanna bring something up that I just thought about, Alex. Mm-hmm. And maybe this is sony's fault plays you know maybe who i don't know whose fault this is maybe it's no one's fault but this game and, and i'm not spoiling anything on lists or anything we don't have to talk about list formats but it, this game came if you remember directly after last of us mm. N- nary a month later we had this game and maybe that contributed a little bit to our feelings about it maybe we were just so uplifted by last of us that we got that kind of gamer high with Last mm-hmm. of Us, but then you're trying to find that, and then with Ghost, that's definitely not it. So maybe that like kills it, and that just kills it for you. I'm curious if that's the reason because I've not felt more disenfranchised isn't the word I want to use, but uh, but alienated maybe with how mm-hmm. many people loved. Lo- I mean, I mean, love this game, and I'm just so whatever about it. Just so like, I mean, it's good. It's not bad. I would never sit here and say this is a bad video game. But mm-hmm. it's just not compelling to me to continue it. And yeah. I don't know. Maybe for me, at least. Maybe that had something to do with it. I do want to go back. And I will probably continue saying that until I die. But <laughs> I do want to go back and play this video game. And give it another shot. Especially on the PS5. Because I heard it's 60 frames. That might have been something I made up. But I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure I heard that. And I do want to try it out. Yeah. Alex, I have um, one, one more for... Oh, well, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Well, no, no, no. I'm... Um, I'm hoping that they they get some type of because is is there like or like not a remaster but like a next gen version? No, maybe they'll release one. As far mm-hmm. as I understand, the game runs in sixty frames on a PS Five, mm-hmm. so that's you know kind of you guess know already. an upgrade. But that's only me thinking that is. I'll I'll try and look it up in a minute, but okay. I'm pretty sure that's true. Now, Alex, this is an interesting honorable mention that I want to put on here. Okay. This is an honorable mention that would for sure be in my top five if I had beaten it in a reasonable amount of time. Okay. That game is Dragon Quest XI. Now, this is, is I guess you could say, my number one honorable mention. And I will tell you already it is my top five game of the year. But I am not comfortable putting it on the list because I have not beaten it. So yes. I'm only about... the First off, the game clock in the game is broken, which is infuriating. Mm. I like Quick Resume. And if you know what Quick Resume is, that is a... Uh, basically, the Xbox keeps the game running in the background so you can always come back to it. But for some reason, the game doesn't know it's not running anymore. And it just keeps the game clock running. So I'm already at like 100 hours in the game. And I've played maybe 20 so like it's super broken but i'm mm-hmm. not turning quick resume off because it's amazing to click on the game yeah. and never have it load but back to what i was talking about this would for sure with the charm it has the specific dragon quest feeling that it gives me the very japanese uh <laughs> comedy and writing and the little mm-hmm. quirks that the game has and how i mean how beautiful this game is also it's a breath of fresh air sitting next to a game like, and this isn't on my list at all, so I'm just going to bring it up now. A game like Cyberpunk, where mm-hmm. I have this, and I mean, this game is huge, giant game. I haven't got a single issue with the actual game, and Cyberpunk, within the first five hours, I had a giant bug on my screen. <laughs> and this game being huge, and of course, I'm not comparing the two, you know, we're not, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just saying, this is crazy how much that because i've been playing these guy games back and forth how different mm-hmm. it is this giant jrpg game i haven't seen a literal mess up in sight and with cyberpunk the first few hours i encounter a huge bug well we all are agreeing that cyberpunk was not really like really ready to release of course i don't think anyone would say anything aside from that i'm not judging anyone for liking the game though I see a lot of that going around. I'm not one of those guys that's like, you like Cyberpunk. 
I, it's just I, it's not ready for me yet. Hopefully, yeah. this January patch fixes it to where I can go play the game and I feel cool. Oh, for sure. Um, I, I, I hope so. Because I, I do want you to beat it. I'm just for so sure. To take on the story. I'm for sure going to beat it and we're for sure going to do a spoiler cast. I promise. Yeah. That's my promise to you, Alex, and to the Cheevers listening. We will do mm-hmm. that. It's just when is the question, not if. Alex, that's all I have about Dragon Quest. I, I could gush about it much more, but I don't want to bore the audience with a with game. I do recommend a pickup if you have it. It's on everything now. It's Dragon Quest. It's the longest name ever. Dragon Quest S, uh, Dragon Quest 11 S. <laughs> Echoes of the, of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition. So, mm-hmm. very Japanese in its name. Please go play it. Enjoy it. It is, if you like a Dragon Quest or any JRPG, you will love this game. I heard this game is like a thousand million hours. I cannot wait to never beat it. I'm so excited. Look, everybody kept saying that about Persona. That's true. That's everybody true. Everybody always saying, like, you know, Persona there are a lot of people so that were, ger- there's a lot of people that are very dramatic about Persona 5. I, I, Look, I picked it up. I had 30 hours in, and I'm at 60 hours, and I did that in a matter of less than, like, what, less than five days? Well, my thing is, you know, people have jobs and things. So it's, it's a little different. I'm not saying you don't have I a job, mean, Alex. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not blowing you up on the spot. I'm just no, saying I, people have. No, I, can I, have. I take care of my kid, and as she's in the room, I play that game. <laughs> she <laughs> so, watches me play Persona. But my point was um, people spend 100 hours in video games. True. To beat the game in 100 hours, I feel like there's a little disconnect between Persona 5 and other games for some reason. Mm-hmm. Maybe because you can beat other games quicker than 100 hours, whereas Persona 5, you have no choice but to put in 100 hours to beat the game. Maybe yeah. that's the difference. But there's a lot of people that are a little over-exaggerating how much Persona... I mean, I know people who are complaining about it that put in three, two, 300 hours in other games like Witcher and things like that. It's like it's a, just a little different. It's just a little different. Alex, yeah. I mean, I put I put ninety hour. And you know what? Let me save it. No, uh, save, save, save it, save it. Now, Alex, mm. what's your number one honorable mention? Now, you'll probably understand, but kind of be disappointed. Uh, Destiny Two's Beyond Light. I'm not disappointed at all, Alex. Mm. So that's I, your honor. I, I feel I know for a fact that's on your list. But now, <laughs> mm. let's <laughs> save your overall discussion. But I want you to give me one bullet point: Destiny to okay. Beyond Light. What does that mean to you? What do you mean, like, how, like what? How I feel about it? Uh, just yeah, just bullet point. Give me one bullet point, and we'll bring it up when it comes into my list. Spoiler: It's on my list. Mm. What's Alex's Twitter take on Destiny to Beyond Light? I mean, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> I, I, I was just about to be like, you can say it's just fun. <laughs> it yeah, sounds no, like you're just, like, it's fine, which is perfectly never, fine to say. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's fun. Yeah. All right. That sums up Destiny 2 to Alex. It's fun. <laughs> I just had more stuff I wanted to play, man. No, of course. Never got around to no, 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 of course. I was just curious on if you could give some thoughts on the game, but it's fine. No, no, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You thought it was fine, which is fine. Moving on to our actual list. This is our actual Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. list. Me and Alex will go in descending order or ascending, depending on how you want to think about it. Technically, it's descending because we're going 10 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Not ascending in value, but descending in value of the number. Making 1 our game of the year. Correct. Assuming, right? Yes. And me and Alex are going to be baton passing. I know some people like to go from 10 down to 1 on one per- but I like, nah, you know, I'm having a fun, man. Yeah, I got I like a free that, flow. Yeah, I like a free flow baton pass just like a Persona 5 Royal Alex, but baton Dude, pass. I was literally I was literally <laughs> about to say the same thing. I was like it's like baton passing doing darts with the Ryuji. Yep. Now Alex, my mm. number 10 game of the mm. year for 2020 is Man Eater. Ooh, hey, it made your list, though. It made my list. That is such a special game. Made by a very small team, if I remember correctly. Trip, yeah, mm-hmm. A very Trip small Wire. team. Tripwire. Not a huge studio. Came out of nowhere with this game. This game actually came to our point of view. And one of the... Fr- this ca- this is a special place in my heart because of this. This came up in one of our first ever recordings of Easy Achievers. This is when we were mm-hmm. very small and had little... little um. Like, we were losing one MacBook to, like, run everything. <laughs> we're a little tiny bit better now, but not much. 
Uh, but you brought up to me, you saw this game called Maneater. It was a shark mm-hmm. RPG. Yep. And you saw it at E3, and it looked very good, and it looked fun. And I went, okay. Mm-hmm. And you showed me the quick little look at it, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. I want, I'm curious when it come out. And then I believe this. you told me the exact same thing next year. You saw Maneater again. But it got mm-hmm. a date of um, of 2020. Yep. And then it finally got like the actual date, and then we actually got it, and we played it. And Alex, man, that was a fun game. I got to Dude. be a shark. I got mm-hmm. to have like armor. I I think I used the bone. Did it? No, no, no. I used the electric armor. I like mm-hmm. styled out my little. Cause you start off as a little baby shark, get all the way up to a real big mama shark, and it's got this crazy. Like I love that they're self aware of how crazy this game is. There's the Dude, gu- it's so much fun. There's a guy that's really known, uh, a really well known voice actor. He does um, I forget the guy's name, but he's a voice actor in Archer, and he is. He, it is uh, ran like a document, um, uh, documentary. Uh, doc- yeah. Thank you. I, I couldn't pronounce the word. A documentary, and it is. It's hilarious. You find these like scenes you there's all these collectibles you can eat you can fight the uh what were they called the beasts of the land or something like that like the the killer beasts oh you're talking about the apex predators yeah thank you apex predators thank you you had to fight apex predators which like ruled the area you could take them over very ubisoft in a lot of ways actually now that i think about it where you're like Mm -hmm. checking off literal lists you had to fight these hunter people eventually you got to like the top hunter in that area you fought that hunter i love that aspect because i would just eat people and run away I mean, oh my this God. is such a fun game. It was hilarious because I'd just be going up to the beach and all you see is everybody start running and I, I just start chomping away at people. And one word I love, I love saying these about games because it, it never surprised me. And I love using the word unique. I have never played a game as a shark before. And now I have. Mm-hmm. And I had a great time with it. Props to that studio. It is such a fun, cannot recommend that enough. Quick easy 1000 or platinum however you want to however you want to run that and also just a quick just regular play if you don't care about this stuff just play the game have fun and if you don't have it yet you can get it today on playstation plus that thank you ps5 version thank you for reminding me alex if you have playstation 5 or if you have a ps4 and you just want to remember you can redeem these ps5 games and if you don't have the system it'll just be sitting there please do that that is money you're leaving out. If you have Plus, go over there, redeem the game. If you want to, download it, play it, and just have a good time. Thank me later. Send a tweet at AVM9000. Alex, yeah, that's literally. my number that's 10. That's another platinum right there. That's another platinum. That is my number 10, man eater. Alex, hmm. what's your number 10? My number 10 is a little game I call Destroy All Humans. Destroy All Humans. What a, f- what a fun looking game. Not a game for me, but I, I remember you just. We're so elated for this game to come out. Tell me, Dude, tell me why it's on your list. The first time I ever played this thing was on PS2, and I just I don't know why, but like the infatuation of being a little alien, just shooting the hell out of everybody and just going nuts, it was just fun to me. So when I saw that this, because it was it a bit kind of like a remaster or like a re-release on PS4, it's like the PS2 on PS4 games or whatever. I was like, oh, that's cool. I bought them. I played. I played them, and then I saw that they were making like a kind of like a remake, kind of like to where all the graphics were all redone, new achievement list. I was like, oh, pff, I'm getting that again. So I beat. I played it. I beat it. I enjoyed it. Now I gotta see if I'm gonna go a thousand it because it is now. It's not hard, but it's very uh, tedious. But. I, I, it's very enjoyable game if you want to be like a little alien you can actually customize the way he looks because he has different outfits it, you can you can explode people's like heads and stuff it's it's funny hmm it's it's what was it is it it's set when when richard uh, when nixon was president so it's like you know the whole uh, the whole time like i think it was like in the 70s or 80s yeah it's like, that's everybody, like the 70s yeah, it's like when everybody was like, you know, freaking about, freaking out about Area Fifty One. Yeah. It's like, oh, communist. It was a huge yeah. communist thing too. I, I yes. if I remember correctly, yes. I saw a hilarious clip where it yes. was like, um, uh, it's like it's aliens. No, it's communists, <laughs> and like it's yep. just straightforward. Like, like should we should we blame it on the aliens? No, it's clearly just communists. <laughs> it's yep. Just yep. Such yep. a hilarious yep. thing. 
it's just hilarious. No, it's, def it's definitely a fun game. It's definitely worth at least trying out just to see if it piques your interest. Yes, 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 yes. Alex, number nine on my list. Destiny 2. Ooh, it's a, on nine. A game that came back to me over and over throughout four years of it being out. Hmm. And it just keeps grabbing me. I mean, I played it in September, and I have been playing it on and off till right now. And I just mm -hmm. love playing it. The new the new expansion was fun. The new raids have been fun. I can't tell you how much new content there's been. Is there still problems with the game? Hell yes. There's still a lot of problems. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are upset about the, the way PvP is, which hopefully that gets changed because a lot of people are very upset. I honestly don't care. But if that is something they want, I want it, I want it too. Um, I'm, just, I'm enjoying the game. I do wish... Uh, I have like several issues with the game. That's why it's so low on my list. But mm -hmm. it's like uh, I don't have a good uh, I don't have a good like metaphor for this. But it's, it's it's like a it's it's like your favorite sandwich. It's like like you want to go back to the sandwich every now and then, but you don't want to eat it too much until you get sick of it. But you kind of do anyways. So eventually, Destiny Two, I'm gonna get sick of it and put it away. But until that point, I'm having a good ride. Alex, okay. that's good. Alex, what's your number nine? My number nine is Super Mario 3D All Stars. Interesting. Did how much? You, I, I remember you playing this. How much were you able to get, actually get through of this? I remember you played Sunshine a lot, and I you played, tried 64. I, yeah, I played a couple levels of 64, yeah. and then I played halfway through Sunshine. Mm. I've yet to go to Galaxy though. You I'm should, dying to go to Gal dude. Galaxy. You should. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, it's I've so yet to play it. Mm-hmm. Now, I enjoy... I went back to 64 for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't... So wonky as ever. Jesus Christ. Can't I barely look around. But that's just how it was back then. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can't wait to go back to Galaxy. That's going to be my... like Whenever I need a palate cleanser and just want to play a Mario game, mm -hmm. Galaxy's going to be right there for me. I'm excited. Not too much I can share about that one because I didn't really play it much. But yeah, that's why it's such low on my list. But I did play my, and I do enjoy them so much. I had to put it on the list. Got it, got it, got it. I I feel it now. Alex, mm. number eight on my list, Astro's Playroom. Mm. Astro's Playroom. Honestly, I'm not. I'm surprised it's not higher on the list. The only reason is because yeah. there, you know, there actually was a, a lot of good games that came out this year. Uh, mm -hmm. But I had a great time with a game that honestly, like, I didn't even know was really coming out. I had a rough understanding of what the game was, but I wasn't too sure what it was. Then I figured out like a few weeks before it was going to be included in the system. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So it's just on my system. I can play it. And it's like this Dude, weird limbo. Yeah, I, I knew of it, but was kind of confused on what it was. Then I heard it was a demo for the system, but then I heard it wasn't a demo for the system because mm -hmm. it's like a huge game. And yeah. wow. For a game I, that I, I no went, was there. yeah, for a game that I went from not knowing or caring about to to number eight on my game of the year list is a wild and fun ride. I had, I enjoyed every jump, every button press, every look around, every um, a wonky little turn of the controller they have me do as the mm -hmm. as the monkey robot guy and the. Mm -hmm. um, uh my i think my favorite level was uh ah the ssd speedway as like the and the, oh, you, okay. you eventually get the yeah. minigun and just go go around doing yeah, the minigun yeah, stuff yep. and yeah, i mean the in the immense amount of just so many easter eggs like Dude, there's it so cool. it's everywhere everywhere yeah. final fantasy <laughs> metal gear um uh, twist, gone, Twisted Metal, Last Days Gone, Last of Us, Horizon, God of War, uh, Fat Princess, the PSP Go, <laughs> like the um, the PSP camera. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, I I, I faintly heard like the pocket what, play, PlayStation thing, the little tiny one. That was huge in Japan, I believe. That was I don't yeah. think that ever came here. Um but like yeah, the minis like crazy. the i love that you, there were so many trophies that involved you messing around mm -hmm. um in Dude, the actual I story so much and my wife loved watching this game to where i was on my computer 
and then she came to me and she was like hey uh where's um how do i get to astro ball i want to go play it and i was like oh all right. oh wow that's cool i know my um my also wants to play it so eventually when i when she has a second she'll she'll sit down she's busy with assassin's creed Valhalla right now but she'll eventually mm-hmm. get to that too alex mm. and we with that number eight my number eight if my phone will unlock it okay it is cyberpunk whoa yeah elaborate it, it it's i really like the story um now a lot of people for example like honestly for example you you were saying like you know you want to immerse yourself into the game like as you know a lot of people immerse themselves as you know the character is themselves kind of yeah i didn't do it this time Mm. i just let it be its own character like Mm -hmm. it's like oh i'm just playing in the eyes of this character but it's not me Mm -hmm. so when i once i played it i played Played the story. I mean, the yes, there's so many bugs. <laughs> it's rid- it's ridiculous. Yeah. I didn't get any game breaking bugs. I I mean, I got a couple to where like I'm like, oh, that's weird. Um, but like things will be messing around, and then I'll, I like I'll just pause it, unpause it, and it fixes or something, or close the game, come back. Um, but nothing to where I've had to revert save or anything. Right. But this. There. Uh, other than that, I mean, I after a point where all these glitches keep happening, I winded up making it not a game, but kind of like intru- like fun. Like anytime I like, I'm just like playing the game and I see something random happen. I'm like, whoa! All right, that was cool. And then just keep going, because I'm like, because I thought of it as like, how, how does the bug even re- do that? Mm-hmm. Like I have a bug to where, like I'm just I'm just walking and all the palm trees digitize and just start going into the ground and I'm like whoa and it's just at first I thought it was part of the game and I was like am I tripping and I was like nope that's that's a glitch but oh well I'll keep going. My and favorite just, my one of my favorite ones were it, you shoot a gun mm-hmm. in an open <laughs> area and you watch everyone like cower down and <laughs> then you turn around. Mm-hmm. And then you look back, and they'll start disappearing. Oh wow! I so didn't see that one. so you'll do it, look around, turn around, and if you keep doing it, eventually they all just kind of disappear off your game <laughs> for whatever reason. It does that, and that yeah. is hilarious. It, there's just a lot of, yeah. Frankly, like, frankly, unfortunate bugs. Frankly, it's bottom. It's bottom line, terrible, but mm-hmm. it's still funny. Yeah, I mean, despite of all the shit that's wrong with it. It should not have been released. It should have waited, but I did, and I did enjoy it. That's good. I enjoy yeah, that. And um, I mean, I put thirty hours into it, and I and I just kept coming back. So that's good. I I do again. I want to I want to beat the game. I want I want to come back to it. I do hope patches fix the game, and eventually gets to a state where I can play it and not like mm-hmm. immediately like it thrown bugs at me that I'm just constantly like because it kills the mood for me. But mm-hmm. I'm sure eventually you'll get to a state where it's fine. Alex, mm. my number seven, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Mm. Wow, it's not, oh, it's not higher. I, so it's, it's weird. Mm-hmm. And the only game I can kind of relate it to is Hearthstone. Give me a minute to kind of explain what I mean by that. Mm. Okay. Animal Crossing is an incredible game. Came out the perfect time. Helped us, mm. I, in my opinion, it helped us a lot uh, emotionally, and you know we can get more serious about how games bring us oh, together sure. in times for of sure. of stress and and bewilderment. Mm. Aside from all that stuff, Animal Crossing was pr- is probably like straight up a game that will be a uh, oh, near forever game, where it's just I like, constantly come back for these seasons and mess around with Christmas and. Mm-hmm. and halloween and things like that play around with rebecca and, my, uh, and just have a good time it's kind of how fortnite the, is at the moment yeah and the reason it's not higher honestly is because um it's hard to explain but i love the game mm-hmm. and i love what it's doing mm-hmm. but it doesn't really move me like other games in my lists mm-hmm. and i will be honest my five six and seven games i have listed here mm-hmm are my most question these guys i think okay. can kind of float around 
And these cool. are like the weird area. Normally, honestly, every year that's my one, two, three slot. But I'm confident yeah, in those I... slots, honestly. But those five, six, seven slots, these are games that are like my seven could be a five, honestly, in a, in a given can, day. My yeah, five can I drop can down to a seven. Like the, these are things that can change. It's just kind of hard to nail down what yeah, I, I actually want. Cool. But right now, gun to my head, I put Animal Crossing number seven. Love the game. I love how it brought everyone together. And I love that me, you, and our significant others had like this little segment of time together that we got to spend yeah. talking and sharing in these moments and talking about mm -hmm. how, you know, hey, I, where did you get this furniture? You know, I got it in the store in my place. Well, you can come over and you know, buy it from my catalog. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. know. I and, love Nukazan. Nukazan, of course, will never forget Nukazan helping us out. You put 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 a list and you pay bells to get stuff. I remember mm -hmm. paying because I I did the um, turn up thing. Mm -hmm. I remember paying someone five hundred thousand bells for two blue tardises, which are just phone books, phone booths in the game. But I needed to get them, and <laughs> the game is so unique that at, when I'm going to their island, they. Uh, text me back on discord hey we're gonna go on opposite sides of the island put the money down i'll put the tardis down and we'll switch almost like a mexican standoff and it's hilarious because we're all these cartoon people but eventually yeah. i get there put the money down he puts the two things down i go i pick them up it's the blue phone bus we're all happy and i leave and yeah. it's just so fun like the game is so fun it's so special i wish I had more time to play the game, but I've you know it's one of those games where you're like, I kind of have to put this down or I won't play anything else, <laughs> you know? No, for sure, for sure. But uh, but yeah, that that is that is my number seven, Alex. Please give me your number seven. My number seven was Astrobot. Oh, okay. So your your number seven, Astrobot. Astro's what's yeah. your what's your what's your Alex version of what I said? Um, I I did not know this game was on it at all. To be honest, mm -hmm. when I turned my PlayStation on, I was like. Astro's Playroom, what the hell is this? I was like, that's the little thing from Astrobot's Rescue Team or a Rescue Mission, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah. And I, so I was like, play? Okay, it's downloaded already. So I started playing it and I just started moving around. My wife was watching. She was like, she was like, what is this? I'm like, I don't know. I came with the game or the system. I started playing it and then I just see that there's so many Easter eggs, so many things going on. Dude, my wife probably watched me play this game the whole time. And I just kept mentioning everything. I was like, oh, look, there's that Easter egg. Oh, look, there's that Easter egg. And then I even, I was, I had to do something. I was like, hey, you're play for me real quick. And I just came back and she was just enjoying it. It was just, it was just like a fun game that was, like, I wish they, they didn't even do that more to her. That it was like, oh, you know, it's not like a big game, but here's something to, so you can enjoy if, so, if something, like in case, you know, you couldn't get anything. I respect so many devs for doing this. You, mm -hmm. you take a, a and this is a this is a lame I think uh, thing, but take like just a fine tooth comb, and you just sculpt this perfect kind of experience where you where you're kind of being led and and here's this you know and I, I think Astro's really good at that where like they go exactly where they want you to go and when mm -hmm. you go there there's always something there if if there's this kind of corner there's gonna be a little surprise there i think super mario odyssey was a really good game about that and this may be yeah. one of the best 3d platformers i've played in a long time mm -hmm. i would say possibly better than super mario odyssey which i think is a blasphemy for a lot of people but this may be in my opinion better than that game mm. alex really quick before we go we may have done this already but i i want to i want to ask again favorite easter egg from astro's playroom i know that kind of puts you on the, the spot here mm. so i'll go first since i thought of it okay. one of my favorite ones it's 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 hidden but if you go to the trophy room where you can you know look at all the things you've gathered and all the mm. you can look at the the puzzle pieces and things like that you can yeah. go down and you'll see this um little uh astro bot guy standing next to a poster and, it's, and it'll read uh sony um interactive entertainment now if you hit that sign enough eventually it, it falls to the ground and behind it says sony computer entertainment which mm -hmm. is what they uh used to be called i want to say like 10 years ago now or something like that and mm -hmm. the guy quickly like picks up the board and like throws it back up and and, and like pretends mm -hmm. like nothing happened it, that's just such a nerdy but funny quick little thing that happens in three seconds that i found like just naturally just walking around like messing around with stuff 
Yeah. What's your favorite? So, I actually, um, I was looking through the trophies and I actually did waited to do this one. There's um, in the play in the playroom thing. There's a bunch. There's the actual like trophies. Mm-hmm. And is one of the tro- one of the trophies is you pick up the platinum trophy. And I saved that one for last. So when I pick up the I platinum too. trophy, I got the platinum. I did too. I picked up a platinum to get the platinum trophy. Yeah, yeah I did too. Yeah. I, I was yeah. I don't know why, but I was like, oh, I have to save that one. That has to be my last one. So I pick it up. Yeah. So like it wasn't a, a, an Easter egg, but that was fun. And I really enjoyed the Days Gone one because I did it. I almost missed it. That was a good day. It was a good one too. I was just walking by and she was like, hey, what's that over there? I look over, all I see is somebody on a bike and just a bunch of little robot mm-hmm. guys going like, oh. Yeah, little robot guys trying to get to him. It was so cool. The Horizon one yeah, was really good, too. It was too. a horde. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the Final Fantasy one was really good because it was the it was the, um, the select screen, the Buster Sword yeah. stuck in the ground. That was a really good mm-hmm. one. Yep, yep. God, it was such a fun game. Alex, I, um, I, yeah, I, so I'm on number six. Yes. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm, uh, that did not make my list. Wow, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Did you you beat it? Correct. I, I'm yes, not. I did. I, did beat I, it. I thought so. I, I didn't want to say it and, and be incorrect, but mm-hmm. but uh, the reason it made my list, all, all my problems with the game stem mainly from the um, I, w- I guess I would say misleading title. Okay. I've talked about that numerous times, so I'm not going to rehash it here, but. It is still a great game. I still, mm-hmm. with having no prior knowledge of the extra characters, I didn't know who Cloud was through Kingdom Hearts, but mm-hmm. n- not knowing who, um, uh, not knowing much about Barrett, not knowing much about Aerith, I immediately mm-hmm. clicked, immediately loved all of them, immediately sympathized with their plight, even though we're technically all terrorists blowing places up. I still kind of like them. I still prefer them over the other terrorists. So, hey, <laughs> I like them a lot. I do uh, want to know more. This game doesn't tell you a lot, which is unfortunate. So I do yeah. like want to know more. I only know a little bit about Genova. I only know a little bit about Sethroth and what's going on. I know why Cloud no, doesn't sure. have memories and I and things like that. So I understand what's happening. I really, really like one of my favorite scenes in the game is when Aerith and Cloud are sitting down and Aerith talks about Zack with Cloud, but you black out and you can't tell what's talking about because he's like freaking out and he can't hear that word because of uh because mm-hmm. of reasons. I don't, I don't want to spoil just in case. No, no, for sure. Uh, for sure. Here, but that is my number six. I had a great time. Combat feels great. Magic feels great. You feel strong. I want to do a hard playthrough because I heard it's challenging. That sounds like something mm-hmm. I kind of want to do. So I very 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 much want to get back to this game summons make you feel dope and i did love the weird robot guy from shinra that teaches you the summons that guy was cool (laughs) yeah and the little side quest something i didn't think i'd care about but i immediately did like want to help all these like people with the little kids like uh when they had like the when they had like the test thing you can you can get the coins for the uh the coins i I, oh it raised like your strength up or something to you got the books that made you stronger and yeah, things like that. we got the books yeah such a good time such, such a good time mm-hmm. alex number six man eater oh wow do a huge yeah. difference for mine I, please give me your give me i want to give me your reason why it's number six please dude as you said i've been waiting for this game and i always looked at it i was like oh i, I can't wait for man eater can't wait for it when i got it I didn't have one disappointment. I didn't have one bad thing that I, I was like, oh, I'm just going to... I literally just... Pl- literally, I was doing my list, and my wife was like, hey, there's Maneater on there? I was like, and I was like, oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me, because I was trying to move stuff around now. And she was like, yeah, because you played the hell out of that game. And, dude, it was so fun. I'm just, like, going around, swim. I'm Dude... I even loved all the Easter eggs and stuff like that. All the collectibles that you get at the bottom, like you even find so many Easter eggs. There was a uh, a kaiju one, the Titanic one. Like, dude, the the collectibles going underwater is so fun. Like, I I I was probably for a couple hours. I was just swimming underneath the water just to see what I could find. It was just so much fun. Like, 
killing all the people like it sounds it sounds morbid but it was it was hilarious uh, and awesome. yeah it's a video game I, i'm mm-hmm. never one of the people where it's like oh you like killing all oh, it's it's a video game we know it's all fake it, it's it's no, really yeah. it is really fun though you get these um dna strands you eventually mm-hmm. get overpowered and you're this giant killing machine that grabs something no, and sure. immediately electrifies it it's Mm -hmm. i even enjoy that it has some difficulty to it because oh yeah some points i like like when there was all these people coming after me Mm -hmm. there were so many and then i had to like there was a point where i had to kill a certain amount of people on the coast and they were on the dock but i couldn't reach it i had to like find a way up there and then i had to um to like do the 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 wiggle the, the the wiggle jump thing out of the water and i'm running out of air and i have to catch the guy like Oh yeah, I do it's feel so like fun. I do feel like I was really good at this game, and I don't know why, but I was able to kill those hunters like no problem a lot of times, and mm. it, it, and I was just like I feel like I was a piece of the game a little bit, but I had a great time, loved yeah. loved the game. Can't can't talk about it enough. I echo I'm everything go, I'm you just go said. Platinum in now on PS5. So. Oh, he said it, Alex. I'm gonna mm. tell you my number five. Number five on top five. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Mm. Oh, where do I begin with Valhalla? It made it on your list, though, because you almost didn't play it. I almost didn't play it. I almost didn't play it. This was in where I really, honestly, just wanted to play Destiny. Mm-hmm. I wanted to not play anything else because I wanted to, I needed to do stuff for the raid, if I remember correctly. I don't really mm-hmm. remember this what I was doing. This is the reason doing. I did not play Destiny. And I just couldn't find a reason mm-hmm. to keep playing this. So I originally stopped playing Destiny to start playing this game. And I was like, all right, you know, I'm giving a break because I was, you know, I'm like, eh, I'm done. I've already kind of done everything I wanted to. So I go to Valhalla, play the beginning. I love where it starts. Okay, then it starts. You're, like, in this area. you, you got to find the guy. You're like, okay, I do that. And I'm like, all right, cool. You find the settlement. I'm like, okay, this is whatever. Then you are with Ran V, and she's like, all right, we have to go do these things. And I'm like, okay, cool. Go do a few things. First two are really fun. I, it keeps me going. Then the three, fourth, fifth, sixth ones are like, what? I don't really care about this. And then like mm-hmm. I slowly stop playing. Alex goes, hey, you enjoying Assassin's Creed? I'm like, no, I haven't played it in like two days. And you're like, whoa. And you eventually hammer into me. I eventually go, if it shuts you up, yeah, I'll go play it. Play it. Play a little <laughs> more. Play a little more. I basically brute force my way through the boring garbage. Eventually you hit a compelling power level for the game be honest this game should not have 400 levels this game should be condensed into probably 200 levels and the game feels more satisfying the game does not feel satisfying from levels one to i would say honestly almost 120 no that's a lot of leveling up for garbage like you do not feel cool at all to be fair you get two skill points for every time you level up so technically you gotta level up 60 times oh yeah that sounds really easy and fun feeling lame for 60 levels yeah <laughs> i mean i mean you felt lame i felt lame yeah i can only speak from my point of view i felt lame mm-hmm. this game was not fun at first i did not care what was going on until that 120 ish mark where i eventually found a groove found out that i really was interested in the main story of my settlement so I wanted mm. to figure out, well, you know, what's wrong with um, with this hunter girl? She seems nice. I go help with her. I go on this hilarious quest where we get high on mushrooms and see stuff. I help out Ranvi with this thing and maybe have a budding romance with her and things find out is stuff with this, that happens. I cheat on my brother. <laughs> my, I cheat. I have an affair with my brother's wife. I didn't actually do it, but I thought about it. Um, <laughs> I have the affair later when they get divorced. Um, well, that's technically not an affair then. Eh, it, I, mean, it, I, don't, I don't know if they signed the papers right then and there, but, you know, oh well. Was there papers? They I just don't came, know. Probably, they just probably, like, spit handshake. Probably. You look, say a firm farewell and then goodbye. Well, they're Vikings, so they probably just do, like, they cut their uh, blood brother type of seal <sighs> Jesus, thing. that sounds awful. <laughs> but I, I did enjoy my time after all, especially when you get cool armor. I got oh, the mentor sure. robes, completely mm-hmm. upgraded that. I looked sick. Eventually, you do some. Uh, do I spoil it, Alex? Do I spoil it? <laughs> it's light spoiler. You eventually experience what Asgard would look like, and that's oh, that sure. stuff is very cool, especially when you start figuring stuff out 
and that's yeah. really cool when you start piecing those things together. Then you start getting this specific armor set and this specific weapon that I won't spoil mm. here that makes you a literal god, and it's amazing, okay. and you're super overpowered, and it's fun. Yeah. And it's had a, all in all, great game. Is it way too bloated? Yes. People mm -hmm. complain about Odyssey being too much. This game is too much. In my opinion, there's way too much going on. There's just too much to do. There's too much stuff I don't care about. I love the flighting. These side quests, some of them are good. Some of them are terrible. They never tell you where to go. It's just a lot of mess. But somewhere, if you just peel away some of the layers like an onion, there's a perfect game. There's almost a perfect Assassin's Creed game. There's a damn near as good as odyssey game inside of this mm -hmm. but it's hidden it's, it's, it's hidden odyssey was just too big for me yeah that's I, I yeah and i think we're just looking for different assassin creed games it could be possible alex um we, we could just yeah. be separate on what we want from the series which is perfectly fine of course but mm. that is my thoughts on assassin's creed Valhalla. alex top five what is number five animal crossing whoa all right two more two more than i did so not too too much but what'd you not think too bad um so i didn't i that was my first time ever playing animal crossing um i've never played one before so and i always i was like what is animal crossing people are always up uh, up with these i'd be in i'd uh i'd be uh buying a game at gamestop and all i hear is somebody next to me be like hey do you guys got any of those animal crossing cards i'm like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> the amiibo cards or whatever the, they were called but like I've always heard like high things about this, and then when I saw there was a new one coming out, it looked interesting. I was like, you know what, I'll give. Uh, you were interested in it, and so I figured we would give it a shot. And dude, like my wife and I, we were just because I I played it for a while, and then my wife wanted to play, it, so she we actually shared an island, and we probably did that for about three hundred hours. Um, because I eventually I stopped playing, and then she actually restarted her island. But we enjoy, we enjoyed every minute of it because you don't want to uh, give the reason why she restarted because you ruined it. What? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Go ahead. No, if anything, I just uh, there was a lot of. I think she said she was just getting bored of the island because she did everything, and I'm like, "Well, restart." She was like, "All right, nice." Um, but yeah, no. I mean, we had this game before the baby was born, and now she's still playing it after. And dude, the baby loves watching this game. She was just uh she would just be sitting there watching it and I'm like damn she is in this game, um, but like it, it did help throughout the you know the times and um you know being able to play with you guys it was just so much fun. Um, it was like even for my wife it was uh, like I never see her play video games much other than the Kingdom Hearts and now this. So it enjoys me to be like, oh, see, like now you're playing a video game. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It it is like Wii Sports. A lot of people are going, what? So many people are introduced into playing a video game with Wii and the Wii oh, Sports dude. specifically. With the Wii Sports, yeah. And this game is that perfect. That fucking bowling or tennis. <laughs> that game is the perfect. I almost want to say like gasket case where it's like this explodes into war of video games how many it's people weird. bought a switch to play animal crossing now mm -hmm. how many people now have access to a switch because they bought animal crossing how many games are they now going to play and introduce into such a wonderful medium that can now experience video games probably not it's so <laughs> shut up there's <laughs> there's so many people that are being introduced to that and it's and yeah. i love and i love seeing that and I do mm -hmm. think the Switch has a better chance of getting people to get things over the Wii. The Wii um, sold a lot at first because it was a Wii sports machine. And then no one ever mm -hmm. bought the games with it. But with the Switch, that does seem to be the contrary. It seems to be a very popular system. And it seems to be a great attach rate. Things like that. I'm so I get so happy when we have a game that transcends this. Because, Alex, there's layers to video games, right? You got the gamer gamers. Mm -hmm. We play Dark Souls and we scream at each other. We play Apex Legends. We, we <laughs> kill each other in combat. Then mm -hmm. you have like a little lower. Then you got like, you know, your story games there. You know, this the is... Who the, play GTA. 
this is like the double decker you know you got that stuff you got your you get your online games your third person action games the top of there then in the middle you have the you know indie slash role-playing games then you got kind of like the mario games then at the very bottom you get the entry level animal crossings mario cars your legend of zeldas everything that is a perfect first game for the mm. five six <clears throat> ten year old eleven year old 32 year old no no harm in playing your first game at an oh. older age mm-hmm. and then you have this whole world that you now have at your fingertips because you played animal crossing and it entered into a beautiful beautiful world thank you so much alex for letting me rant about that uh, no problem are you finished with animal crossing alex? uh yes doom oh and um, huh? you because you said 32 year olds i was like even 87 year old remember the old lady that loves animal crossing yeah yeah that too yeah i remember seeing that uh i want to say it was facebook she, yeah she put Ugh. 3580 hours in the animal crossing new leaf and yeah they had got her this one so cool god so much hours respect man number four doom eternal mm. did not make my list it's 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 a shame because I have no one to talk to about this game. But it is so good. I will talk to the Achievers about it, Alex. Step I mean, aside. I mean, I look, I played a quarter of it. Alex, step aside. Mm, All right? Okay. Achievers, listen. This is a great game. If you've played it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Do you like grabbing a demon's head and making it inside out? Then you'll like Doom Eternal. Do you like grabbing a shotgun, putting it in between a demon's legs, and then blowing them upright, causing a split, and then having them fall into two pieces? You'd like this. If you like getting a giant laser gun, pointing it at a uh, marauder, which is one of the hardest things in this game, and blowing his head off, then you'll like this game. A BFG? Do you like one-shotting everything? Just shooting something into the air and then watching an entire room slowly blow up into giant blood-curdling pieces? then you'll love Doom Eternal. That's all I have to say. If you like combat, if you like versatility, if you like the endless chainsaw massacre-like combat that is Doom Eternal, where there are literal chainsaws and literal swords in your hands, just blowing shit up, then go play. And enjoy Thank Me Later, remember, Twitter. Alex, (laughs) what's your number four? Spider-Man Miles Morales. Okay, okay. I'm so curious what you, what your top three is. Please tell me. Spider-Man Miles Morales, I will co-op you with this because my number three is Spider-Man Miles Morales. So let's talk mm. about Spider-Man. Okay. I loved it. Mm. I don't think we have to do the thing of why do you put it at four? I just want you no. to tell me like what was that part of you that, that made you put it like, yeah, let's put this at four. This is a great game. I enjoyed that they finally gave you know, him, uh, Miles, a his his own thing. Like you know, every, when they did when they came out with what was it Into the Spider Verse, right? They saw how actually like you know Miles is actually a really good character, and some people actually prefer him over Peter. Um, and once they made this game, dude, it's just I love seeing his perspective of his story, like uh, of how he, how how his Spider Man is compared to Peter's. You know he's he uh, you know he's his own Spider Man. He's not trying to copy or you know Peter and stuff like that. It's just it, it's just so much fun and seeing that the difference in how can I say um oh god what is it in cultural maybe like like the the environment not not environment but you know what I mean like like people around but. Sp- Peter Parker's Spider-Man it, are very different compared to Miles as Spider-Man. Like, More diverse, I would say, right? Okay, I guess you could say that. Yeah, it just it feels different. You're like you feel like you're in a whole another like like world. Okay, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I think I think I'm kind of hitting where you're trying to talk. Yeah, so I, I would say the group and characters around Miles, first off, are more memorable. Second off, much more. Mm-hmm um uh, diverse as well Mm -hmm. with their experiences and their actual ethnicity which is very nice um if you think about it right now someone at home about to blow your mind i don't believe there's a single white character in the entire cast of spider-man miles morales what can you say that about literally anything so that that is interesting and i like that 
It's cool. It's yeah. different. It makes for interesting storytelling, especially when you make your characters as unique as that. And you actually give them development. I love it. You give them... Mm -hmm. uh, that's how you get... Ah, I, I'm so... I can picture these characters in my head, and I always have trouble remembering names because I'm playing so many games. Um, I, I hate the, the deaf girl. Uh, I'm kill, I'm, oh. I'm dying. I'm dying for her name. But she is one of my favorite new characters in a long time. Just of how like sweet she is with Miles and how cute, cutesy those two are. So cool. Mm. Um, uh, God, well, I'm trying to find her name real quick. Oh, uh, Haley. Thank you, Haley. And then the Tinkerer. I don't want to spoil that, but the relationship that uh, Spider-Man and Tinkerer have mm. is one of my favorite of that because th what happens there has been done before so many times. So easy to mess up. So easy to make holes in everything. Oh, for sure. Whereas this, yeah, you can make holes. You can do the thing where it's like, you know, well, if X, why not Y? But mm -hmm. I think this is close enough to where I'm like, no, I believe this. This thing has happened to this person so they are most likely to react this way to this and and i love those two interactions that made the ending just so moving i love that mm -hmm. ending the ending was was like per perfect from beginning to end with the fight to the end credit scene is oh teary-eyed me alex tell me more about spider-man please dude the powers that he has are fucking awesome. <laughs> okay. Having the cam, the having the camo, and then having the electric powers, the venom stuff. Um, there's not the symbiote venom, but like he yeah. calls it. No, yeah, no, it's things. called ven venom power. The, the, and w we talk about it in our spoiler cast, but I will, I'll bring it up again. He, it, this tells you how good he is. I don't know how the next Spider-Man will be fun compared to this one. Because I have all these cool powers, mm -hmm. and with the other Spider-Man, I don't. So unless he, unless there is a compelling reason, which again we talk about in our spoiler cast, I do think they're gonna do things that make them compelling and more fun. I don't know how mm -hmm. you're not gonna make me want to just have another Miles Morales game. Because so far, I want another Miles Morales game. I don't necessarily want another Peter game unless it's involved with what's going on with. Um, uh, I don't want to spoil stuff so like what what's going on with like the osborne situation that we have in the game yeah, yeah for sure. you know for sure. you know what i'm talking about and as yeah. long as it's about that i'm interested if it's not i want to be about miles i don't really care no, what else sure. going on. alex that was your number mm. four that was my number three so alex what is your number three going right back to you it feels like persona 5 royal Woo, alex my number two is persona 5 royal so i guess we'll just do the exact thing we'll just do right now <laughs> alex it's your turn first off Number three, Persona 5 Royal. Tell me about it. Dude, I first tried playing this game when it first was released, the regular one, and I could not get even two hours into this game. I was like, ah, I, dude, I loved four, uh, Persona 4 Golden, but I just, I I can't, I, for some reason, this one's not getting my attention. You told me Royal came out, and I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a shot again. I finally, I had started it, put about 35 hours into it, was loving it. Something happened. I think it was maybe because I had, uh, the baby was born. Um, I just never went back to it. Now, I didn't. I, now I finished everything. I finished Assassins. I finished Cyberpunk. What am I gonna play? I said, you know what? I'm going back to Persona, dude. I picked it up like and never. I never forgot anything. Mm. I started 35 hours. Now I'm at 60 hours in now, and man, and I'm. I'm enjoying it. When you told me I'm probably only halfway through the game, I'm like, awesome. <laughs> it's one of those where like it just keeps coming. Dude, like you, like I you, love everything. Like it's just so much fun. Like it's just, it just, uh, it never stops. And I love the game. Like, I, like I have to call you every night to to tell you, just be like, this motherfucker. And like, like, like what's happening? I love it. I, I get little calls for everyone at, at home who doesn't know. I get like, calls, and he goes wait this just happened and I'm like, yeah yeah just wait and then he'll call back and be like wait a minute i'm in this place why am i in this like play place who is this person and i'm like oh god it, i it's one of those games where i wish i could brain wipe myself and play again you know like mm -hmm. i want to like experience that game again and i've done it 
by the way, twice, beat it the first time, and then beat it when Royale came out again. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I, and it's I'm such, it's such a, it. again, I'm going to say it, and I'm such a lame for this. Unique. This is such, Persona games are just so unique. You live out as a literal teenager in Japan. <laughs> mm-hmm. the, like, you, you go to class. You learn, you, like, develop skills, you get jobs. Like if you describe Look, if you describe this game to me, I would be like, well, "This sounds terrible." <laughs> it's annoying because I'm living my life through my character, through a Joker, because I was like, my high school life was not like this, not as <laughs> fun as this. Like yeah. they have all these places they can go to. It's like, it's like I didn't have people talk to me. Yeah, no, like, it was like it's so cool. It was so cool. Yeah, it, it, and I love the cast. Mm-hmm. so memorable everyone i know almost every confidant in that game because it's just mm-hmm. just so memorable I they give you such an impression after i'm done playing this game i'm probably gonna watch that anime i might i might i might, I might do it with you too and joker actually has its own voice and stuff so he actually talks yeah no he talks he, he has a name too yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad i think it's like ryu that. or something like that okay um, i mean co- common uh you know japanese name yes yeah. i get I, there's not and when you beat the game we're doing a spoiler cast out of time i'm so oh, i'm so ex- i'm so excited yeah. i'm so excited i can't i can't wait Lo- it's just it's a hundred hours that i gladly play again I, I think that's like the most compliment i can give the game love it from start to finish i love the personas i love how like varying they are the arcana is so fun um i love that my wife would sit sit with me we would play mm-hmm. through the game. She would see an arcana and be like, oh, that's this, because she is really into tarot cards. She would tell me about mm-hmm. them. Their fortune teller in the game is really fun uh, because she does a similar thing too. And like, like the, we, I can't wait for a spoiler cast because there's so much about this game where I'm like, they, we have to talk about that. And, mm-hmm. and there's so much spoilery stuff. But uh, suffice to say, I had a great time living day to day as a pretend Japanese student with Dude, my friends. I literally every day, like every time I see the tick and it says, and it says uh, morning, and I'm like, please don't go past daytime. Please don't go past daytime. So I have time to do stuff because once it goes to yeah. All right, I don't want to get claimed, so I'll stop. But uh, come on, like, isn't that awesome? Yeah. The no, soundtrack um... is so good. Um, what's it called? When I see that thing hit evening, I'm like, fuck. Because then I won't have, I don't have as as much time to do stuff. Yeah. So when once I see it, it says daytime, oh, thank God. That means it's like I can go to Mementos or I could do possibly two, uh, uh, you know, two people. And I'm like, man, it's just like I'm, I'm like in, in this game. Like right Yeah, now, yeah, like, yeah. I want, it's like, man, it, I want to go play it. My favorite part of, of the game is like, all right. Let's go hang out with On today. Uh, Mak- mm-hmm. uh, Makoto's got a thing coming up, so let me go do that. Oh, I-, I forgot. I need my knowledge up a little more. Well, okay. Let me go read a few books at the library so I can boost up my knowledge a little bit. Okay, well, while I'm, while I'm at the library, let me finish this up. Okay, now it's evening. Who else? Uh, no one else has it? Okay, uh, let me go play darts. Okay, yeah, let's go play darts. Let's play darts. Next move. And then this just happens mm-hmm. day after day. And it's... Dude, yep. A- Alex. It's that game where you go, yeah, just one more day. I, I, like one more day is like that's really fast, and then you do, yeah. like a month, and like you don't stop playing, and then it's four a.m. and you go, I have to go to bed. <laughs> I have to Dude. work tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, I oh my god, I had stayed up because I was trying to finish a palace, and I was like, God, it's two a.m. I have to get up at eight thirty, and I was like, I gotta finish this palace. I look at the clock. I'm literally plugging my phone in going in bed and it's like three something i'm like oh my god i'm gonna be so tired <laughs> it's a hundred percent this game it just pulls you in doesn't let go and they're like you're gonna enjoy this we're gonna go on an adventure and you'll remember it kindly yep i literally was uh, getting on the playstation and i was like hey i'm gonna i told my wife I was like hey i'm taking over the tv i'm gonna play my game and she was like what persona i was like yes <laughs> and i will say this almost number one if this came out any other year would Mm -hmm. have been number one it just wasn't yeah for this one specific Mm -hmm. reason but alex we're not at number one yet we're not we're not 
Alex, what is your number two? Well, I haven't mentioned it, so I figured you knew it's a Valhalla. Oh, Valhalla. Game that you that's, love. That's you love this dude, game. Dude, I didn't think I was going to love it that much, dude. I put 90 hours into this damn game. Yep. I, dude, it was not it was not as big as Odyssey, but there was so much as Odyssey. Like I, when you said it earlier, there is mm. too much. I do agree oh. with that, but I definitely enjoyed that it wasn't as big as a map. So it's for me, it was easier getting the more stuff. I do want to challenge that a tiny bit. Is I don't think the map is like that much smaller though. It's I I have to look it up, dude. But like every time in Odyssey, it's just I feel like I just had to. I just had to like, so um, what is it called? Use my ship everywhere. And yes, it was so far away. That was awesome. Go on I an adventure. It, and see, I to me, I I felt I I got bored of that. Like I it kept you. They used it like two or three times before that. And I was just like, I'm done with the ship. I loved it. Um, they should have uh, made you use the ship more in this because they had the. They definitely tried to God of War this, and they had uh, stories and things in there. Mm-hmm in the yeah, uh no, I, I in mean, the I ship enjoyed that like that was enough ship for me it was like well i just used the rivers and i was like oh that's 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 fine yeah and but I you even, sometimes i just kick the I just, I just put the button and i just let it do its thing yeah but you don't use the ship though at least i didn't and and if that point what's the point of the ship because the only thing i used the ship for were for places that like um uh, well, at the beginning game, I thought you needed to use it, and then you realize, like, mm-hmm. no, you can just run everywhere, and it's way quicker. It's like, okay, I'll just run everywhere. You yeah. don't really need the ship for literally anything in the game, so at that point, what's the point of the ship? Because at first, they portrayed it as if you would use it to raid villages, which is not mm-hmm. true. <laughs> that is not how it is. You can raid, like, little encampments and things, but that doesn't do anything. Um, mm-hmm. So, in my opinion a little bit of a wasted resource if not just landlock it and and you don't need to put unnecessary things like that mm. in norway no. it is necessary but you don't spend most of the game in norway so does yeah. in my opinion the ship doesn't make much like, sense in this one like there is there, there is some there's some stuff you know issues with the game and i, I I'm, I'm not gonna say it's a perfect game so many bugs but, jesus but and see and, and i there's yeah i got a few and not as many as you did it sounds like but i enjoyed being in that world just because i do i love being a viking so much i love the norse uh, norse mythology just being and like doing uh going to that other area being uh, like having my own settlement like at first i like at first i thought i was gonna get tired of like growing my settlement because i'm like oh i gotta keep getting material i actually enjoyed it yeah um i had to, like i was telling you it was like oh i ran out of material and i have to now go through a bunch of places and find these um uh lot these loot chests and find the certain supplies i even figured out which one's which like i actually was enjoying that and it actually went kind of quick like just being um i do wish that you were able to change your outfits more or in your weapons but i mean I mean, I, I used one outfit and, like, a certain set of axes, and that was it, and that was good. I mean, I liked Eivor's character, too. Yeah, like I said, <clears throat> there's a lot of mass to this game that should have been cut away. In my mm-hmm. in, Again, my opinion, whatever. But, still a good game, and it's still great, and it's, like, a few things short from being great. But, I still enjoyed it. Yeah. No, I, I definitely just... Dude, it just kept wanting to call me back. I just kept, just kept playing it, and it just kept playing it. And I was like, every, every, later on, I was like, I was like, hey, you almost done with the game? And you were like, uh, you were like, no. And then uh, uh, I was like, what hour are you on? And you're like seventy. And I was like, I beat this game on hour like sixty-five. Alex, I love you. You played the game while mashing the B button the entire time. The, you you did not listen <laughs> to a single story like voice line because <laughs> that because you beat whole, you beat i you beat the game like 20 hours before i did almost i okay i matched b button probably on the on those top pledges because after a while dude i did not care for these people <laughs> like i said too bloated there's a lot there's too much going on and there's not like there's a lot of stuff that like who cares 
Oh, we might have lost Alex there. Give him a second to come back. Uh, we're still recording on OBS. We have literally one left, so hopefully we can get him back. We have the slot left. That's right. The number one slot of Persona. Uh, sorry, of um, our game of the year list. So let's try to get him back here. Hopefully he can get a quick refresh in. Uh, I don't want to give away the number one uh, slot left, so I'll just keep talking about some assassins. I, I want to know if anyone out there either shares or disagrees with what I'm saying here, like my sentiments. Like, do you think, like, hey, is it bad or is it good? Like, do you think it is bloated? If it is, hit me up. Shoot, uh, shoot a tweet at EVM1000 or at Crazy Subscator. Either one of us will let you know what we think as tweeting. And, of course, patreon.com slash achievers. You can utilize the DM service. You can continue to give us questions there, or you can just straight up give us um, uh, your questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, and or ideas, too, as well. Hello? Oh, looks like he's back. Okay. I don't know why, but my core just, like, stopped working, so I had to, like, unplug it, plug it back in, and if it, that didn't work, so I yeah. just have to refresh it. That's fine. We got you back, though, which technology. is what's important. Yeah, technology works great for us, so. That's, yeah. that's 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 incredible. That's your first problem ever in recording. That's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Alex, I didn't mm. want to go anything away, so I talked a little bit with the achievers just about assassins. Mm -hmm. They can of course tweet at us and DM us yeah. on Patreon their thoughts, greater questions, concerns, anything about our top ten list. Mm. Alex, I had a great time. We, I again, I look forward to this at the end of every year, sitting down discussing a top ten getting out really hashing out our ideas and what we think about our games and really put our statistics on what we think mm. we come to the spot number one now i know everyone's like oh, we'll get it over with we know what it is but yep since we're going we got it together we're gonna do it again since we our last like three we're mm. kind of together as well it is of course last of us part two god who last last like there it's there's so much been said about the game mm. i don't know if there's something i can particularly add that hasn't already said we have a huge spoiler cast on it already really diving into the game that won't be done here but i want to give you just the reason that it's top top 10 is i, I mean, never i mean the story I, like what i just go ahead. i never thought a game would want me to be on the villain's side yeah um and then you, and the downside with last of us is you can't really talk about it without yeah. spoiling the game right no so yeah. i want to quickly give no spoiler impressions and then we'll get into spoilers well i was gonna say and the question is to at least in my head always who in why who went technically who is the villain at this point? Right, yeah, and I think it be it, it honestly and it, or, this what was a antagonist. I think that's the word actual right word for it. Yeah, and, and I mean they're both the same. But yeah, antagonist yeah. is is the the word for it. But I want to I want to get into this really quick. Top, uh, this is my number one. Love the game. We're gonna really quickly get into spo uh, spoiler. So if you need to click away. Thank you so much for listening to us. We love you. Remember, like, subscribe, share. Do any one of those things that you can if you want to. Patreon.com slash achievers. Now, spoilers are on. Yes. Now, I think this game does a very specific thing with what you're saying, right? Who is mm -hmm. the antagonist? Let's put that in big quotes, right? Mm -hmm. Is there an antagonist? Now, from our point of view, when we start the video game, mm -hmm. it's very clear who the antagonist is. Yep. It is uh, Abby, clearly, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Then we switch to Abby's point of view. Uh, of course, the antagonist there is Ellie. Or is mm -hmm. it, you know, it, then it could be the foundations that she's in or the scars or any of those sorts. But I think it is an important thing to remember that it just depends on whose point of view is whose. Who's the evil person? Well, it depends on whose eyes you're looking through. Same thing it's, with, yeah. like, um, I, I don't know why this is coming up to my mind, but, like, in Star Wars where he says that terrible line at the end of revenge of the sith where it's like why why did you ally with the sith they're evil and anakin goes well from my point of view the jedi are evil <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. like but that does cement to what sense. it does it is what i want to bring up though it is all point of view and i like to think like hey maybe the people that you're murdering aren't the bad people we clearly see that at the end of last of us part one 
dude, it, it's annoying because hater regrets at the at first. Of course. You, but then they make you. They play make her. you. They and make they, you yeah, hate. They her. make you. Pl- they make you hate her, and then they make you play her immediately after, and then, then love her, and then you wind up starting to dislike Ellie, and I'm like. I can't. Why do I feel this way? Well, it's because she was given an out. She was given. Yeah. She was given the. You here? Here's your. Here's your out. I'm not gonna. We're not doing this. I won't do what we're about to do here. I'm not gonna shoot you in the face. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you go because she asked me to. Mm-hmm. Or he. Sorry. I, wait. Yeah. Is that? A he? No, 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 no. It's a, no, it's a she. Uh, no. Who requests them to stop? I don't remember now. It's a wait no no she no, Abby makes up no, her own. She's being hold. No, she's she she was holding Dina and then she was like no please she's pregnant and then he was like, and then she was like good and then Lev was like <laughs> That's right. don't. Le- yeah, but Lev's a dude. Good point. Or, or identifies as a dude, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, Lev Lev Lev. I don't remember how do you pronounce it. Lev 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 Lev. L e v. I like that's how I say Lev it. requests her not to kill her mm-hmm. and she doesn't yeah and that that just shows you like you're given an out and then you don't take it you figure out where he is through um what's his name i'm blanking tommy? on his name tommy thank tommy? you Jeez, yeah i'm just i'm not i'm not on my ball today i, I didn't get a water before this tommy given you're given the name you're like hey go, go find him and then your mm-hmm. significant is like hey don't do that and she goes nope. ah, i can't so i have to go like i don't I have do. a choice yeah and by the way i don't think i have uh, or ever have experienced a panic attack mm. but my god are they good at describing to you what that is when she Dude, goes oh into the barn god. and she they show you the f- his face and mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. the noise and then the black encompassing darkness that slowly envelops you makes mm. you completely uncomfortable makes the large sound and then eventually uh dina comes and saves you but whew, dude i was wearing is... headphones when that happened and i was like five feet away from my tv and i'm just watching i jumped and it, i started freaking out a little and my wife's like you and I, I looked at her and she was like you good and i was like i think so mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it is an emotional game, and I think that's why we got such emotional responses to the game mm-hmm. too. But dude, my wife has never played the first one; didn't know the characters. She watched me play this one, and the storytelling in this game impacted her as well. To where when we get to that scene, she's like, "Whoa!" Like yeah. that even hurt. That even hit me hard, and she, yeah. I don't even know who the hell these people are. Yeah, the I mean let's be frank here the masters and not at all right they, they're just so good at these tense deep meaning games that just kind of stick with you like the the ending screen in that dark fog mm. of of part two like what they mm. end you with like is like burned into my mind yeah of her just kneeling looking into the water questioning everything Mm-hmm. And then her going back to the the farmhouse, finding everything still there, and, and going back trying to play, and she can't. She can't. She she's yeah. lost everything. It's yeah. That's <sighs> why I feel like at this point she just moves on. She doesn't go back. I think she does. I I think the only reason I know she goes back is because she has the bracelet already on, basically communicating mm-hmm. that she has gone back to the community because she didn't have the bracelet before so she had to have gone back to dana before so she probably Mm. talked to her or at least that or it was left or her stuff or it was left at the compound um Mm -hmm. and she wore it to the thing it's meant to be unfinalized we don't we don't know no one knows the only one that knows is i feel like i feel like we're gonna get a three uh i think so too i think we'll for sure get a three i think we'll i think it's pretty clear at the end of this that they're not done. They're gonna, there's going to be a finality to Ellie eventually. I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, we'll get it, and and there's no one I respect or am more anticipated to eventually get one. I'm in no rush. Take your time. I'm pretty sure they want to do something new now, though. Pretty mm. sure they want because they stopped Uncharted. 
Um, they, they probably want a new IP, something fresh. I think that's their next step. And then after that, they finish out Last of Us, I think, with a part three. And then they mm. they they end it out there. And I, there's, not, there's not a studio that exists today that has more trust in in my in my like dollar than Naughty Dog does with yeah. all of their Uncharted's, all of the Last of Us. I mean, the list goes on with them. For sure. I mean, let's 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 leave there, Alex. Do you do you have anything to leave with the Last of Us Part Two? Dude, I, this game is just crazy. Like I was getting a new tattoo, and I almost made a tattoo similar to Ellie's, but like different. Mm-hmm. But like kind of like oh, how, what can I say to it? It's kind of I'm mean, I, like uh, what what's the word? It's not like copying, but it's like like my my tattoo that I wanted is a uh, like an homage, uh, maybe because it doesn't resemble it doesn't resemble hers. It's a completely different you know take of, of it, but it's like like it, you know it's on the it's on the forearm and it is a plant. Like it's the same like like vision, I guess. Okay. And like it's just like like just being in that like those characters is just it's just so impactful. It is. It is, and I hope that wasn't quite the end yet. But no, no, I don't think so. But you know what has the end, Alex? Mm. Our list. That was our top ten game of the years for the year of twenty twenty. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you just like it? What were your top tens? Give us a top ten, maybe a top five. Yeah, I know you better have. Give us a top 10, top 5 in that comments below or tweet at us. Remember, we love you. Remember, patreon.com slash cgachievers. Use their DM service. You could a dollar, question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea onto the show. Guaranteed. Also, Twitter. At you and a thousand. And Cravies Square. We are open to all of your various wants and desires, I guess. What are your top 5? Again, comment, tweet at us. We love you. If you hate us, feelings mutual. Remember, Alex, do you remember? Remind me. Go, Chief. Go, Chief.